This is the Information Brief, a Holyoke Media service with the most recent updates of relevance in the city of Holyoke and the Pioneer Valley. I am Johan Rashivega, and this is the information for today, Wednesday, March 25th of 2020. The city of Holyoke escalates response in preparation for coronavirus impacts. The Massachusetts administration files legislation to address challenges faced by municipalities and school districts. A new text alert message notification service is now available in Massachusetts. Temporary closure of state parks, athletic fields, and courts goes into effect. And the Holyoke Office of Planning and Economic Development conducts a survey on impact of COVID-19 on the Pioneer Valley businesses and organizations. Holyoke Mayor Alex Morse created a dedicated response teams to address the local economy, social services, and shelter needs caused by COVID-19. The City of Holyoke announced this Wednesday a new incident command structure designated to rapidly respond to the needs of Holyoke citizens during the COVID-19 public health emergency. Anticipating the volume and complexity of the challenges to come, Mayor Morse has rolled out an interagency team of leaders poised to provide crucial support in the coming weeks. The newly created incident command structure adds planning teams made up of experts who will research, seek out resources, and help develop coordinated responses to some of the most pressing issues facing the city. The teams will tackle the major needs identified from community members via email, social media, and stakeholder phone calls. These topics are local economy, social services, and sheltering. The teams are composed of the following city and community leaders. In the local economy field, it will be Tessa murphy Rombaletti, director of e 4 all Holyoke. Andrea Marion, President of the Great Holyoke Chamber of Commerce. John Dijak, Assistant Director of Economic Development of the City of Holyoke. And Ben Murphy, Development Specialist for the City of Holyoke. For social services, Aaron Vega, State Representative of the Fifth Handem. Pat Duffy, aide to the State Representative Aaron Vega. And Alicia Soller. Administrator of Community Development. For sheltering, there will be Sarah Mayer Simbler, Development Director of the Holyoke Housing Authority, Steve Huntley, Bali Opportunity Council, Sean Gonzalez, Director of the Holyoke Board of Health, and Jesus Pereira, Director of the Holyoke Veteran Services. Marcos Marrero, Director of Planning and Economic Development, who is currently serving as Deputy Manager of the Municipal Emergency Operations Centers, will serve as the city's point person for the planning teams. <music> Governor Charlie Baker filed on Tuesday an act of further addressing challenges faced by municipalities and school districts resulting from the COVID-19 outbreak which would provide administrative relief to state and local government entities. This act includes modifying local permitting processes, enabling municipalities to extend tax and finance deadlines, and extending deadlines for setting education requirements. In regards of the education portion of this act, Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito explained its details. When it comes to education, we all know uh, that our schools have been out of in-class learning now for over a week. And we, at the same time, working with the department, know that we need to give uh, school districts more flexibility about how they can uh, work with the Student Opportunity Act. 
for instance, extending the April 1st deadline for the three-year plan uh, that they need to prepare is something that Commissioner Riley has asked us uh, to seek support for. Thinking about the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, uh, with the recommendation of uh, Commissioner Riley, they need to think about uh, the guidance and standards for high school graduation. Uh, we also need to work uh, with the department and the commissioner to how to modify or, or utilize or waive uh, MCAS requirements that have been such a, a major piece of the quality of the public education uh, that we offer here in the Commonwealth to uphold standards. These are some very significant and real issues that our local partners and our department are working with to sort, sort out the impact on public education here in our Commonwealth. We will follow up with the Holler Public Schools on this matter to learn more about the possible decisions that will be made about budget, MCAS, graduation, and the future of the school year for the students at Holyoke Public Schools. A new text-based notification system to deliver important information about the Commonwealth's COVID-19 response to Massachusetts residents was launched this Tuesday. The new messaging tool called Alert MA will allow residents to subscribe to real-time notifications by texting the keyword COVID-MA as a single word to 888-777. After signing up, state and public health officials can send short messages and links to information directly to a resident's cell phone or other mobile device as well as email addresses. Governor Charlie Baker explained the way this new alert system will work. Throughout the outbreak, we've constantly reminded our residents that we all need to get our information, your information, from trusted sources. Today we're making that easier with a new program. Today we're announcing a new tool, Alerts Mass, uh, Alerts actually MA, in our efforts to inform the public about COVID-19, which will enable you to get up-to-date alerts about coronavirus sent right to your phone. This can be used to share news, prevention information, and help us connect residents to information they may be seeking. Residents can text COVID-MA, all one word, to 888-777 to sign up for updates. These alerts will include important information like the latest news and updates from our administration and the command center, public health tips on social and physical distancing, personal hygiene, and other ways to stay healthy, and important alerts about state services. We're not looking to bombard folks and add to the information overload many already feel. Most days, we'll only push out one or two notifications. But this is a great way to stay in touch with the Commonwealth's government and to hear the latest announcement from trusted sources. It may also provide some relief from staying glued to your television all day to hear the latest headlines. Residents can stay up to date on the latest information from trusted sources by visiting mass.gov slash COVID-19, calling 211 with questions, which at this point is answered and responded to thousands and thousands of inquiries. Sign up for this new text update by texting COVID-MA, one word, to, to 888-777 and get your news from reliable sources, wherever they may be. The alerts MA notifications can be used to share news, prevention information, and help connect residents to information that they are looking for through other public information channels, such as the state's information line 211 and website searches on mass.gov. The Baker Polito administration announced a temporary closure of state parks, athletic fields, and courts. However, state parks remain open for the public to visit. The Department of Conservation and Recreation, DCR, has temporarily closed athletic fields and courts such as basketball, tennis, handball, and others throughout the state park system effective March 24 until Tuesday, April 7, at which time the closure will be reassessed. However, all state parks across Massachusetts remain open and available for the public to visit. DCR reminds, however, vis visitors and residents to avoid gathering in groups of 10 people or more 
and maintain social distancing as well as practicing healthy personal hygiene to stop the spread of the virus. Similarly, DCR has extended the closure of agency-owned ice rinks, visitor centers, campgrounds, playgrounds, fitness areas, and bathroom facilities until Tuesday, April 7, 2020, which will also be reassessed at that time. The temporary extension of the closure of these facilities is consistent with the emergency order issued by Governor Charlie Baker. The Holyoke Office of Planning and Economic Development is conducting a survey of impact of COVID-19 on the Pioneer Valley businesses and organizations with the purpose of collecting data to demonstrate its economic impact on businesses and organizations in the Pioneer Valley. The information will be used to advocate for resources to help now and in the coming weeks and months. In order to participate in this survey, you can go to the link on the screen and also this link will be listed on our Facebook page and this information brief. This survey is being conducted by a partnership of local and regional planning and economic development agencies and organizations. The deadline for this survey is March 31st of 2020. Stay in the know with Holyoke Media. We are reporting different announcements, services, and updates in the local, state, and federal level related to the COVID-19 outbreak. This service is made available in English and Spanish for our community in the city of Holyoke and the Pioneer Valley. This is the information we have for now. We will continue updating and following up as soon as more information becomes available. If you have questions or information to share with us, as well as your concerns, you can contact us on our different outlets on social media. We are Holyoke Media and we are present on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and podcast distribution platforms. And we are broadcasting on Holyoke Cable Channel 15. This has been the Information Brief for March 25th of 2020. I am Johan Rashi Vega and you are watching Holyoke Media.